What's going on, my YouTube friends? Welcome to SR Lounge. This is your guys' source for no-nonsense education, tips, tricks, and, well, just understanding the whys of photography. In today's video, well, guess what? Adobe has issued a new update to Lightroom as well as Photoshop, but we're specifically gonna talk about Lightroom because there's one standout feature that's gonna save you a boatload of time and headache, and that is the new multi-batch export function. I'm gonna show you how to use it in this video. So let's go ahead, we're gonna dive right into Lightroom. And I have a little grouping of images that I have selected from a shoot recently where I did some street portraits of uh, one of our models. This is Trent, and we'll have a later video on this. But for right now, let's go ahead and just, I'm gonna select a preset. Uh, I'm gonna develop from the Visual Flow Modern preset pack. I'm gonna go ahead and just add a detailed pop and I'm gonna put a quick radial burn on here and place it directly over Trent's face. So with that done, this set of images is good to go, right? So normally I would press Control Shift E or Command Shift E and I have a selection of images down here. So I'm gonna press Control Shift E or Command Shift E and it brings up the export dialog. And if I wanted to export at different resolutions, like let's say for example, I wanna export one for print, wanna export one for web, one for slideshow, one for whatever, the blog, I'd have to do that individually. And I have to export one, click export, then bring up the dialogue again and do it again. Now I can do this all in one stroke. And here's how we do it. First, you're gonna create an export preset. So for example, I have this print preset that's set to this following settings, okay? So let's go ahead and just look through it. So it's not gonna rename anything. It's just gonna keep it the original name. The, there's no video settings that are important. File settings is a JPEG, sRGB, quality is 100. Again, this is for print, right? Image sizing, it's not gonna resize. It's gonna keep it at the original resolution, 300 pixels per inch. We're gonna add output sharpening just for screen and standard. You can set this to whatever you want. This is just a small amount of sharpening that's being added to the preset. Um, as far as metadata, we're keeping everything inside of the metadata, no watermarks, no additional post-processing. What you're gonna do is then save that out as a new export preset. So just click add and save it as a preset. Now you can choose to create as many of these as you want, but I'm gonna show you two of them. The next one is this 2K web one. This is a 2000 pixel on the long edge export. So it's gonna shrink things down. It's gonna reduce the JPEG quality a little bit, um, which it's not gonna be noticeable in the file other than just the size will be smaller. So I have this set, it's set for sharpened screen standard, and here we've resized long edge to 2000 pixels. So go ahead and save that as well. Now all we do when we wanna to export to multiple batch settings is we just select multiple presets and check them off. So I'm gonna check this one, I'm gonna check this one. You'll notice that once we do that, the export location gets disabled. Well, that's because we have two or more presets selected. So all we're gonna do at this place is just click export. And what it's gonna ask us now is to choose the location. So I'm just gonna say to choose my desktop. And we're just gonna go desktop for this one. And for the second one, I'll just say desktop as well. All you do is press done and now watch Lightroom go and make your exporting life that much better. So thanks to Adobe for this update. And if you guys wanna see the rest of these release notes, we're gonna include the link below. In addition, check out srloungeworkshops.com. If you guys enjoy our education and specifically learning the why behind photography, check out our site. We have a full library that will take you from literally knowing nothing about photography to becoming a professional portrait photographer. On top of that, for those that are into Lightroom, we have a Lightroom course coming soon. And you can also check out vfpresets.com where we just released a new method of Lightroom image processing and development called lighting condition based development. So check that out too. My name is Pi and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Peace.